Okay, Paso, this is Siren Tayro. Welcome back to another Pick a Card reading. No contact. Are you on his or her mind? If so, what are their thoughts? This reading is timeless. And for this reading, there are four different options. All lipsticks. So option one is this Egyptian lipstick. I'm still holding up the iPhone with the right hand. Don't have the gooseneck yet. Everything's still in storage in a garage in San Antonio. I'm in East Texas. So here's the first lipstick. It's gorgeous. Is the phone picking up the hieroglyphics? The texture. It's really cool. Background noise. That's going to be a reality for the foreseeable future. This is option two. Is it going to open? I don't think I've ever opened this. I just got this at some damn store a few days ago. Was it five below? Probably. It's pretty. I bought it for the pop art aspect. Yeah, like I said in the previous two readings, that's how I started this channel, November 18th, 2018, just holding up, well, it was the Samsung Galaxy back then, holding up the Android with one hand. So the cards are obviously pre-shuffled. This is option three, my favorite, my all-time favorite. Um, it's a classic. Can you see Mac Ruby Woo? Classic red. No, that's not Ruby Woo. Need to clean my glasses. Uh, that's a beautiful nude, though. What does it say? I can't read. Um, hug me. And then Quattro Pile 4. Got this at Sephora a couple of years ago. I think it's a pretty pink. It's called, I don't know, it's number 28. Popsicle Lips. Popsicle lips. I never wear it because it's hard to open. Pinkish brown. As always, timestamps will be provided. Think of your person of interest and make your selection. If you chose the Egyptian lipstick, pile one, here's your reading. Six of Cups, it's a beautiful start. Five of Wands, Four of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, The Emperor, ooh, Ace of Cups, The Emperor again, King of Wands, Ace of Cups again, Six of Wands, Page of Swords, The Fool. You're definitely on this person's mind. There's no doubt about it. This person feels a very strong connection to you. They may possibly regard you as a soulmate or a twin flame. Um... This person's energy is quite masculine. That's really strong to have the Emperor twice and the King of Wands. So a possible astral combo for this person, they could have Sun and Aries, Gemini rising, Moon and Aquarius. 
Maybe their mas maybe their astral combo is on masculine. I don't know. They could be a parent. <clears throat> they could be a single parent. They could be married. That's always a possibility. Um, I'm not getting strong third party vibes from these cards, but I definitely see someone who has life experience and is probably a parent, someone who takes their job and their responsibilities very seriously. If they're addicted to anything, they're probably addicted to work. They think of you often. And this energy is so intense that I wouldn't say it's been no contact for any length of time. You're probably in pretty consistent communication. But if you haven't spoken lately, I definitely see you reconnecting at some point to have Ace of Cups twice in the last row. And to start with Six of Cups, I can see this person reaching out to you. Maybe in Pisces season, which we're in Pisces season right now. Timeless reading, but as I record this, as I upload this, as I publish this video, we're in Pisces season and we're coming up on the full moon in Virgo on the 7th. Today's the 3rd, Friday, March 3rd, 2023. Anyway, I definitely see the two of you connecting again. There's a lot of love here. There's a lot of energy here. There's a strong sexual attraction, but it's not just sex. Ace of Cups twice, Six of Cups. Not just sex. It is a so-called spiritual connection. If it is third party, if this person is currently with someone else, it doesn't look like they're very happy. They're not satisfied. Maybe they're together because of the mortgage, the kids, whatever, but they feel super connected to you. So yeah, that's what I see for pile one, romantic thoughts and sexual thoughts. Yeah, they are thinking of you. Thanks so much for watching. I am always available for private readings. All the information is included in each entry description box. And please check out the community section for the latest information regarding personal readings. Which is gracias. And if you chose pile two, this cute little lipstick, so pop art, here's your reading. <clears throat> Ace of Wands, Eight of Wands, yeah, they're definitely having sexual thoughts, there's no doubt about that. Two of Swords. Four of Wands, Five of Swords, there will be background noise for the foreseeable future. I already said that in the intro. Ten of Swords, two Aces in the first row, Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, Strength, Temperance, I don't know, maybe it's entertaining, um, I personally get bored of the readings where it's all formulaic and it's pristine and rather than a beach towel for the uh, background, there's some perfect, aesthetically wonderful setup and it's just, I don't know, I won't get into that, but um, definitely not formulaic, definitely not polished at this channel. Okay. So, yeah, you're on this person's mind. The light is terrible. I know. It's going to be aesthetically fucked until I get into a place again, my own place, and I get a gooseneck again. <laughs> and some candles and some crystals and la-di-da-di-da, and I can use natural lighting at my kitchen table again. I miss it. I do. Um, this is romantic. It's not just sexual to have Knight of Cups in the first row. Knight of Cups going toward the world. So they do want to create something substantial with you. They want to manifest something that is acceptable to both of you. So what's stopping them? What's their problem? What's the dilemma? Could be third party, could be distance. Um, I feel like 
for some of you, for a lot of you maybe, to have two aces in the first row and then to have the Ten of Swords in the last row, Five of Swords, Ten of Swords. I feel like you've been through some cycles with this person. This may be on again, off again, extreme highs, extreme lows. I love you. I hate you. I've blocked you on all social media. Just joking. When can we meet up again? Like that. Yeah. Roller coaster from hell. Really strong sexual attraction. You could have Mars conjunct Venus, Mars square Venus, Mars opposite Venus. Those are the strongest aspects I found that you can have in Sinistry. Um... Could be a bit of an age gap. This person could be a few years younger. A possible astral combo for this person. They could have Sun and Scorpio, Aries rising, Moon and Gemini, one possibility of many. I feel like this person is struggling with some kind of addiction. They are not balanced. Could be drugs, could be alcohol, could be anything. I'm fighting a food addiction. Um, I've modified my diet recently, but enough about me. Uh, the person on your mind, are they thinking of you? Yes, they are thinking of you. Um, their thoughts are definitely sexual, but also romantic. It could be that things are on pause right now because this person is scrambling to get on some kind of solid ground. I don't know if they're struggling financially, if they're couch surfing, if they've just lost a job, if they're going through a divorce from hell. I don't know. But their life looks pretty chaotic right now. I am about to sneeze. That's... <coughs> oh, bless me. That's what I have for pile two. I hope that helps. I am always available for private readings. All the information is included in each and every description box. For updates on my personal readings, please check out the community section, which is gracias. And if you chose pile three, the MAC lipstick, here is your reading. Nine of Wands, Eight of Pentacles, Eight of Cups, Eight of Cups again. Eight of Swords. Ooh, Capricorn is strong. Eight is the number of Capricorn. Saturn. Timeless reading, but as I record this, today is March the 3rd, 2023, Friday, coming up on the full moon in Virgo on the 7th. And also on the 7th, this is big, this is huge, Saturn finally moves into Pisces from Aquarius. Thank you, Saturn, for finally getting off my Venus's dick and my son's dick. My Venus is 16, Aquarius, my son at 29, Aquarius. Okay, um, Dose to Oros, Two of Pentacles, Nobody a Spot is Nine of Swords. Oh, this person is thinking about you a lot. Ocean of Copas, Eight of Cups, Strength, Death. The lovers. Yeah, this person can't stop thinking about you. They could be obsessed. Who is this person? This may not be who you're thinking of. This could be an ex that you're trying to cut ties with. Um, they could be a few years younger. Okay. This person could have Sun and Leo. Gemini rising, moon and Scorpio. But there's something about Capricorn. They could have a Capricorn placement, of course, or you could have a lot of Capricorn in your chart. The two of you could have a conjunction in Capricorn, like Mars conjunct Venus, something like that. Um, but similar to pile two, this person's life is pretty chaotic. They have a strong libido. They could be an alcoholic or a drug addict. They could be addicted to any number of things, like I said in pile two. Um, they could work hard and then party even harder. I can definitely see this person drunk messaging you, drunk dialing you, drunk calling you, drunk texting you, drunk sexting you. 
When they drink, they get all in their feelings and the winged monkeys fly. I'm thinking of winged monkeys. Looking at this. They have no peace of mind. Could be struggling with a diagnosis or a few diagnoses. Um, if this is an ex, this person is definitely missing the hell out of you. If you blocked this person on social media, this is the kind of person, just going by these cards, this is the kind of person who would create a fake account to stalk you, spy on you. I can see this person sitting around drinking, listening to songs that remind them of you, watching movies that remind them of you. I'm just seeing someone who's obsessed. I'm seeing George Michael in the father figure video. I can see you being really harsh with this person, really trying to establish boundaries. It looks like they're very clingy. Could be they're a lot more into you than you are into them. So that's what I see for pile three. Hope that helps. Thanks so much for watching. Peace out. And if you chose Quattro, pile four, this popsicle lipstick from Sephora, Paletta. It's beautiful. I love that. Here's your reading. You got the Knight of Damn Pentacles, the slowest moving knight. Queen of Swords. Oh, that's the first pile. The only pile. We're on the last pile. The only pile I've seen this. The two signifiers side by side. Cool. Ace of Pentacles. Oh, the dreaded Five of Pentacles. Mother of Cups. Another signifier. The plot thickens. Nine of Pentacles. Cinco de Copas, Five of Cups, Ocho de Oros, Eight of Pentacles, Cinco de Bastos, Five of Wands, Ace of Swords, Temperance, Ten of Cups. Okay, if it's not third party, I'm getting strong third party vibes for Pile 4. Looks like this person is in a relationship. Looks like they are currently with someone else. If that's not the case, if it's not third party, what I see here is a lot of resistance. You wanted something serious. You wanted emotional intimacy and this person wasn't really showing up emotionally. They, they weren't meeting you where you needed to be met. They weren't speaking your love language. They weren't being warm, uh, affectionate. They were being too casual, too nonchalant in their approach and you're not feeling that. Okay, but we have these two aces, the Ace of Swords, the Ace of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups is the last card. So you and this person could potentially move in together, maybe eventually get married, but some stuff obviously has to be worked out. I feel like you probably have a lot of squares and oppositions in your sinistry, not a lot of flow, not a lot of trines and sextiles to soften things up a bit, to make things easier. I'm seeing a very challenging connection. Awkward communication. You could be on different continents. You could come from drastically different cultures. Uh, you could speak different languages. Maybe English is your first language. And this person, that's not the case. English is not their first language. There could be a language barrier, a cultural barrier. I just see a profound lack of understanding here. You probably watched a lot of card readings trying to figure this person out. I feel like they have a really complicated natal chart. You know, a simple natal chart would be something like, I don't know, Sun and Aries, Moon and Aries, Leo rising, someone who has a lot of fire or someone who has a lot of the fixed modality. Um, they're all over the place. So, and there could be an age gap. I said that for like three piles now. You could be a few years younger or vice versa, or you could be a few years older, vice versa. But I feel like this person's younger because Knight of Pentacles came out first at Sex of the Queen of Swords. Anyway, 
This person could have Sun in Capricorn, Sagittarius rising, Moon in Cancer, one possibility. You could have Sun in Aquarius, Scorpio rising, Moon in Taurus. These are just possibilities. I call them out for fun. But yeah, this person is thinking of you. Um, they're trying to understand you. You're trying to understand them. I see a lot of frustration here. But there is potential. Ten of Cups, the last card. That's what I see for Pile 4, and that does conclude this Pick a Card reading. Thank you all so much for watching, liking, commenting, subscribing, and sharing. Sending you all massive love and light from a small town in East Texas.